Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part five of the same topic. So in that we are going to see the unitary method. So first thing we'll, uh, we'll see what is unitary method. So actually the unitary method is used to solve problems related to proportions and ratios. And what is the definition of that? It means the method of finding the value of one unit and then finding the value of the required number of units is called the unitary method. So I will show you what do you mean by this by the example. So first we have to find whatever is given, you have to find if it is given five number of, this is the balls. So the cost is given something. So first thing what you have to do and they have asked what will be the cost of the 20 balls. So we have to find out first the value of the one ball and then you have to find the value of the 20 balls. Uh, I'll give you the example here. So now we'll see directly with the exercise 7.3. So now a person pays rupees 180 to buy 5 kg of fries. How much will he pay to buy 20 kg of fries? So here we don't have to find directly for 20. First for 5 kg, so we can say cost of 5 kg of fries is 180. So cost of 1 kg of rice. So what will you do here? You're going to cross it. So that will be 180 divided by this 5 will go because there is nothing here. So 5 will go in the denominator. So this when you simplify this, this is going to be rupees 36. So 36 is for 1 kg. So now we will see for 20 kg. So for 20 means you're going to multiply 20 into 36. So that will be 720 rupees. Now what quantity of rice can be bought for rupees 540? So for rupees 36, we have seen that is 1 kg of rice. Quantity of rice is 1 kg. So for 540 rupees, what will be the quantity of rice? So 540, you are going to divide it by 36. So that is going to be, you will get for 540, you will get 15 kg of rice. You can add a sentence. We will get 15 kg for rupees. 540 that sentence you can add it over here so bus travels 350 kilometer in seven hours find the distance traveled by the bus in nine hours so now let us see the first sentence the distance traveled by the bus in seven hours that is 350 so that distance traveled by the bus in first we'll see for one hour so one hour is going to be 350 divided by seven so that is going to be 50 kilometer so now we'll see for the distance travel in 9 hours. So the distance travel in 9 hours is going to be for 1 hour is 50. For 9 hours it is going to be 50 multiplied by 9. So that is going to be 450 kilo, kilometer. In a computer lab there are 4 computers for every 8 students. How many computers will be needed for 40 students? So 4 computers needed for 8 students. 1 computer for how many? So what will you do? 8 divided by so you are going to multiply this one cross multiply it so it will be 8 divided by 4 so for one computer will be for two students so we are want here for 40 students so two students that is one computer for 40 students that is going to be 40 divided by 2 that will be 20 computers so you can write here 20 computers will be needed for 40 students if 8 calculators cost rupees 1960, how much will 13 calculators cost? So cost of 8 calculators, how much is that? 1960. So first we'll see for cost of 1 calculator. So this is going to be 1960 divided by 8. So when you divide this, you can divide and see, you get 245. So now we want the cost of this one, 13 calculators. So cost of 13 calculators means you are going to multiply with this one because cost of 1 is 245. So 13 will be 13 into 245. That will be rupees 3185. If 60 songs can be recorded on 5 CDs, how many CDs are required to record 240 songs? On 5 CDs, 60 songs. So first we'll see for 1 CD. So that is going to be 60 by 5, which will be 12 songs. So 12 songs is one CD. So 240 songs is going to be how much? 240 divided by 12. So that is going to be 20 CDs. So 20 CDs are required to record. 240 
songs. Now here, 12 toys can be bought for rupees 900. How many such toys can be bought for rupees 1500? So cost of 12 toys that is given as 900 rupees. So cost of one toy will be 900 divided by 12. So that is going to be 75 rupees. So for 75, that is one toy. So for 1500 rupees, how many toys? So for 1500 rupees, that is going to be 1500 divided by 75. That will be 20 toys. So we can say 20 toys can be bought for rupees 1500. If seven and a half liters of milk cost rupees 330, what will be the cost of 24 liters of milk? So cost of seven and a half liters of milk that is rupees 330. So cost of one liter of milk that will be 330 divided by this seven and a half. We can also write this as this is a mixed fraction, so we can make it to improper. So this will be 14. 14 plus 1, that is 15, 15 by 2. So 15 by 2. So now this one without a KLC, how can we do this one? So 330, the numerator as it is. And this is going to get flip over. That will be 2 by 15. So 15 ones are, so 330, you can just see 5 by 15. 15 twos are 30. Again by here, 15 twos are 30. So this is 22. Here will be 22. 22 into 2. So that will be 44. So now we can say that for cost of 24 liters of milk is going to be. So here, because now this we got for 1 liter as this one. So for 24 liters will be 24 into this 44 because 1 liter is 44. So that is going to be 1056. A family consumes 22.5 liters of milk in 15 days. How much will, will it consume in 48 days? So consumption of milk in 15 days, that is given as 22.5 liters. So consumption of milk in one day will be how much? So what will you do here? This will be 22 by 5, 22.5 divided by 15. So when you divide it, you can see that is 1.5 liters. So now consumption of milk in what? For one day, that is 1.5 liters. So in 48 days, that is going to be 48 into 1.5 and which is going to be 72 liters. For the piece 3520, 16 kilogram of coffee powder can be purchased. What will be the cost of 24 kilogram of coffee powder? So now here, cost of 16 kilogram of coffee powder that is given as 3520. So first we'll see for cost of 1 kilogram of coffee powder that is going to be 3520 divided by 16. So when you divide this one, you get 22. Uh, sorry, uh, that will be uh, 220. So now here, they have asked what will be the cost of 24 kilogram of coffee powder. So for 1 kilogram is 220 rupees. So 24 kilogram, that is going to be 24 into 220, which is 5280. Now for rupees 1320, what quantity of this quality of coffee powder can be purchased? For we have we got here for 20, 220, that is one kilogram of coffee powder. So we can see for 1320, that is going to be 1320 divided by 220. So this and this, this zero gets cut. So this is going to be six. So that is going to be six kilogram. So we can say 6 kilogram of coffee powder can be purchased for rupees 1320. If 4.5 meter of sh uh, this one short cloth cost rupees 378, how much will 7.5 meter of the cloth cost? So cost of 4.5 meter of short cloth that is 378. So cost of first we will see for 1 meter. So 1 meter will be 378 divided by this 4 and half is going to be, this will be 8, 8 plus 1, 9, 9 by 2, divided by 9 by 2. So now this is the numerator, this is the denominator, numerator as it is, denominator is going to get flip over, that will be 2 by 9. So 9 ones are 9, 42 are, so 42 twos are, that is going to be 84. So cost of 1 meter, that is 84. So for seven and a half meter so seven and a half is going to be seven and a half is going to be this will be 14 14 plus 1 15 by 2 
So cost of seven and a half that will be eighty four into fifteen by two. Fifteen. This we can write uh, as fifteen by two. So two ones are two forty two are, and this when you multiply that is going to be six hundred and thirty. So by this one we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.